nesters! Welcome back to Nesting Haven. Today on my channel, I am taking you thrifting along with me at Goodwill. I am mainly looking for seasonal decor items today, but of course, I'm always on the lookout for anything vintage to either add to my own collections or to pick up and resell in my eBay store. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out and see what Goodwill had today. I really like the looks of these, but they were kind of misshapen. I don't know if you guys could tell. I was trying to see if I'd be able to kind of bend it back. They had this set of four Blue Boot Goose mugs here, so that was a great find. They all seem to be in pretty good shape, and I had never come across these particular ones before, so it was neat to see a different design. Usually when I come across the astrology zodiac type items, they're not vintage, but this was actually a vintage milk glass federal coffee mug with the cancer zodiac sign on it. So I thought that was pretty neat that it still was in really great shape and you can see the milk glass on the inside there. They were asking $4. I found this gorgeous vintage deviled egg tray. You're able to hang it up so it's bonus as decor and it was still in fantastic shape on the front side. The colors were great. On the back side, however, there were a couple of chips, a couple little dings, one's kind of on the side there, but it was in such fantastic shape since there was no issues on the front of it and that's what you would mostly see anyway and would be using. I actually did pick this up. I thought it was too fantastic to leave behind. So if you look closely behind my hand there, there's actually another one of these on the shelf that I completely missed. I picked up this one mug. I just thought it had a neat look to it with the sun and the moon and then the handle was actually a moon. So I picked up one to resell. Maybe if I go back the next time, the other will be there. I might hold off listing it just in case, but the odds of me being able to get it the next time is probably slim. So that was a little unfortunate. <laughs> Do you guys remember a couple of weeks ago, I picked up the same coffee mug, only it was in the different fruits. So it was fun to see this. It, it's a large size coffee mug. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm actually using my fruit one currently for my wooden spatulas and spoons. This is kind of a cute idea to use for a chip pin dip set. You know, the center of the hat is where you would put the dip. It's kind of neat.
So they had this vintage Japan horse carriage piece here. It had a spoon inside of it. I was not sure what this was used for. Do you guys happen to know? I would have thought it was probably a toothpick holder, but then the spoon inside of it really threw me off. So what do you guys think that was used for? I thought these decorative plates were absolutely stunning, especially the florals around this one here, the Mayflower picture. This lusterware bowl was very gorgeous. I love the birds on it. If it didn't have this weird stain in the center of it, I probably would have picked it up just for a decorative bowl, but I didn't really like the way that looked in the middle there. They did have some vintage butterfly gold corral plates today. Asking $8 for the set here. Thankfully, they weren't all taped together, so I was able to kind of check the condition out. And unfortunately, they did have lots of fork scratches on several of them. And in particular, the thing I don't like is if you look carefully around the edges, sometimes I'll find where it almost looks melted. I don't really know how else to describe it. It's not really chipped, but it almost looks melted. I don't know what's up with that, but a few of those had that. So I unfortunately left them behind. There was a few that was okay, but you had to buy the full set, so I just decided not to. Now I wasn't quite sure what these were, they appeared to be eggplants, but I'm not aware of what the purpose would be. I saw one hole on the back of each, which was probably just something they did to put it into the kiln. So I guess it's just for decor purposes, if you guys happen to know if they were intended to be used in some other way, I just don't understand them. So I had to unbury this gorgeous fish bowl down here. I love the colors to it. They were only asking a dollar. I did find one cookbook today. This is a vintage Betty Crocker's for boys and girls cookbook. So it seemed to be you know, for little kids really, so it was interesting. I love looking through the vintage cookbooks and I do have quite a collection of Betty Crocker ones. I don't believe I got this one yet, so definitely it was a cool find for me. 
that is going to do it for the thrift along me portion. I am going to go ahead now and share with you everything I picked up to resell and the few things that I am keeping. <laughs> 